What is up guys, Julian Mikkel here of Social Vignerons. Welcome back to another wine video. This is episode nine of Julian's three and a half minute wine school. And today we are going to be looking at a very important aspect of serving wine properly, the temperature of service of wine. In other words, what temperature should you serve your different types of wines at? So we are going to be looking at why and what the temperature does to your wine, if it's too warm or too cold. And we are going to be looking at the precise temperatures to serve your different types of wines, the whites, the roses, the reds, and the sparklings. Well, I don't have a bottle, well, I do have a bottle of sparkling, but I didn't want to open it for this very video. This is a nice bottle of champagne that I will be reviewing soon on this very channel. So stay tuned to the channel for this. I am going to go really rather quickly, always a little bit longer than I would like to, but you know, that's just because I like to bring in some information and pack in some information and some passion into these videos. So why do we want to hit a precise, relatively precise serving temperature for wine? Well, Two reasons. If your wine is too cold, served too cold, it's going to tend to freeze, sort of freeze the aromas and the flavors in your glass of wine. The aromas are not going to evaporate all that well from, you know, the alcohol. The alcohol needs a bit of temperature to evaporate and brings in the goodness and the aromas of your wine so you can smell it a little bit better. If it's too cold as well, it's sort of going to freeze your taste buds as well. So you're not going to get the full flavors. You're not going to be able to analyze the body, the acidity, the balance, the complexity and the length of your wine because everything is sort of going to be freezing. Your palate, the wine, everything's going to be like and not very, very good. Essentially, white wines and rosé wines, generally speaking, you want to serve them a little bit chiller than red wines. So you want to hit a temperature around 50 to 59 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's between 10 and 14 degrees, if I'm not mistaken, Celsius. Uh, so you kind of normally don't want to be straight out of the fridge. But that said, it's always a good idea to have them a little bit chiller, especially if it's summer, if it's warm out have them a little bit chiller, so around 50 degrees, let's say 49, 50 degrees, and then you slowly let them open up and warm up in your glass. If you're having your wine a little too warm, where well, wine contains molecules that are, you know, uh, rejected by the yeast during the fermentation, nothing wrong, everything's natural, but some molecules taste a little bit more like, you know, cabbagey and some sort of a bit of burnt tires, tires, burnt tires. And if you warm up your wine a little too much, the flavor is going to feel a little grosser and the aromas are going to be a little grosser as well. And this is particularly true for white wines and rosé. Red wines tend to have uh, aromas that are a little bit heavier and that tend to evaporate and really open up and shine, open up and shine while you're tasting at a bit of a higher temperature. So for red wines, you want to be hitting around 62 to 68 Fahrenheit. So that's around 16 to 18, maybe 19 degrees uh, Celsius. Again, for red wines, especially when they have a lot of alcohols, it's best to have them at a bit of a lower temperature when you start pouring them they're going to warm up in the glass and the wine is slowly going to warm up and open up so better a little bit chiller than too warm if your red wine is too warm again it's going to bring it bring out especially all the alcohol if it's a powerful wine if you're having sparkling wines well depends on the type of sparkling wines that you are going to be having but in most cases simple relatively simple straightforward acidic bright and shiny sparkling wines are going to be good served at fridge temperature so around 43 45 uh, Fahrenheit so you know six seven degrees Celsius but if you're having more of a prestige cuvee or Dom Perignon and I made a, a review about Dom Perignon link to it right here well you may want to open up and leave your sparkling wine a little bit warmer around the 50 55 mark so you can appreciate uh, its expression to the fullest so yeah in summary that's the serving temperature of wine i hope you enjoyed this video if you did stay tuned to the channel subscribe we are going to be learning everything about wine step by step three minutes by three minutes five minutes by by five minutes sometimes ten minutes 
doesn't matter this is Julian Swine School I hope you enjoyed today's video if you did give it a like give me your questions and comments anything you would like to know about wine I'm happy to take suggestions for future videos and I will see you soon in the wonderful world of wine cheers